179 days since the ball was last kicked in anger in either the National League North or South. A lot has changed in the world since then. Two seasons have come and gone without completion and countless lives have been lost and continue to do so across the world due to the ongoing pandemic. But we all look for lights at the end of various tunnels throughout our lives and one of those tunnels is sport. Fresh off the finish of the Olympics and the impending start of the Paralympics, sport is one of those avenues that always brings hope and we hope to complete the season this time around, third time being a charm. We nearly all know of loved ones lost over the last 18 months, so when those balls ping into the back of the net this season, home and away, we'll be there with you on Stones Live and cheer just slightly louder than you normally have done before and appreciate the fact that we are back out here cheering on the mighty Stones together again at last. The other one looks like Dobson, I think I've made out an 11 there. Classic only leaves it, it's Dobson that takes, ball into the box and a free header. And that header from Bertram Cooper, but Hadler was right behind that. And Hadler will take that right footed. And it will land about 25 yards from goal, clean header, flick on, on the edge of the D. And yet again, on a broken record already and it's only 10 minutes, Castiglione breaks on the right hand side, gets a shot in and it's wide of the near post and Hadler watches that go needlessly past. Did you even need me to tell you that? I think the Stones fans were very vocal in telling you. Which on a Saturday in Maidstone, if you're in control of your limbs, you're doing well. <laughs> Corner to the back post, headed back into the box and it drops and it's, oh, Booty just gets a great block in there. There's quite a few passes went on. The header down, a flick on. The only one that is available for the players to use so far. Williams right up in that right-hand corner, the left-hand side touchline for Hemel. The player cuts inside, he gets a shot away. There's a good save from Hadley, the real first stinging shot. And uh, it looks like Carruthers has injured himself by uh, taking that shot, unfortunately for Hemel Hempstead. Just uh, didn't have much of a back lift there, and he just caught. Uh, Tom had only point blank save there really just really does give it a great glow the stadium it's beautiful to see everything shimmering shining and splendidly bright so ball is swung into the back post there throwing in front of us Ben Williams plays a one two for Gallagher trying to get past Marsh Brown plays a ball infield to Booty Good ball inside to Deacon. He's got Luke outside of him. Deacon tries to turn inside and shoots, Ooh. and it's just wide of the far post. And a corner it is because Nick Hayes got a hand to that and out of absolutely nothing. Nearly had a goal there for Maisto, Nigel. Yeah, great I that, play. I think that's what uh, Roy Deacon brings to the uh, team. Just giving uh, Marsh Brown's just giving his colleague the ball there. Throwing is eventually properly taken by uh, Williams. Ball out wide and Castiglione is in space and it's going to cut it across and it oh. is 1-0 and it is Zach Robinson who's got himself on the score sheet with 36 minutes gone and just as we've been saying Nigel that Maidstone have had all of the play in the last 20 minutes or so Maidstone have a slip the ball's played in field Deacon can't get there he's cut out it's Bertram Cooper that wins the ball Point heads it back onto the halfway line to Gallagher. Odesanya doesn't want it. He says, I've got two around me, mate. I'm fine. He now receives it from a pass from Booty. Odesanya tries a pirouette. Third player beaten. Deacon's got the ball. He's got Ben and Williams ahead of him. Deacon takes a shot. Gallagher Kobe telling Gallagher to get a bit further ahead of the defence. As Hadler's ball reaches the Hemel Hempstead back line. Headed away. Gallagher brings it forward. Gets the ball to Brown. He's got two in the box and he's got Luke out of the back oh. post. And the header is missed at that back post. Goes agonisingly wide from Luke. But two players in the box there, Pavey at the near post. And into the defence rather, to a back in Hamill's half. Bertram Cooper plays that ball out to Castiglione, that familiar outlet on the right hand side. Ball infield to Marsh Brown. Pokes the ball upfield, Castiglione runs past Odesanya. And a challenge by Hoyt is a bad one, deemed by referee Paul Johnson. Yeah, 
Lanza. I don't think he's produced it yet, but he's going to because I think the fans could all see him getting it out. Yeah. And you can hear what the fans think of that. Not too happy. Starting a couple of minutes before the hour, so if your kettle hadn't finished boiling at 2.58, and we apologise, we'll uh, send the bill to Paul Johnson for missing the first part, but we're awaiting his whistle. And Dobson has stood over the free kick, and he fires it in, and it's off the post. And it comes outside the box on the far side. We'll shoot towards the town end in the second half. Ball loops over. Kopek was going to leave it, and uh, Gallagher certainly with a half a second more could have nipped himself in there for an equaliser. But instead, ball is played on this near touch line. Hoyts retrieves or to Sanya into Booty. Left footed ball is Luke offside. The linesman has not put his flag up. Luke has got there. Cuts back inside. Leaves him on his backside. Luke! Yeah! Fantastic goal! One Luke! Leaves Castiglione on his backside. And Luke gets about 1,800 Baystone fans up off of their backsides. Screaming with delight as Luke equalises for Maidstone United. And the first game when Luke plays at the Gallagher in front of stand, in front of fans in the stands gets the stands, the fans on their feet. And one Luke has just rifled that one home. Booty's ball left Castiglione on his booty. And it certainly may be shake line for one all. Fantastic to hear the Genko there. Get caught up in all the excitement, you're trying to remember all the buttons to press and keep everything going. Zach Robinson. Ball out to Marsh Brown! And oh my goodness! Hemel Hempstead within a minute have just gone and rifled one in across Hadler. And after that yellow card, Kai Marsh Brown had a point to prove, and my goodness! He's just rifled one in across Hadler. Oh, in the blink of an eye, two goals in the space of a minute there. Luke over an absolute peach, and you can make an argument that Kai Marsh Browns was absolutely drilled home, just as good as Luke's goal. But unfortunately, the old adage, Nigel, you're at your most vulnerable when you've just conceded. And it was nearly the same again there for Hemel Hempstead as Rory Deacons just fired one wide off the far post of Nick Hayes' goal. In the two centre backs of Gavin Hoyt and George Lacobi have obviously played there before. Um, they've got plenty of experience within the game. Bags of experience and Luke is in here again! It's 2 2! Do not take your eyes and ears away from this game for a second! One Luke has played through there. Didn't see who got the assist, but Luke has got himself another goal, and it's two goals for him, and it's three goals in five minutes. It's all just kicking off here. It's gone mad. Oh, this is what we've all wanted to come back and see. End to end game. So Christy Patterson is coming on for his first game time of the season. Certainly did it his way. Corner comes in at the back post. Diving Lacey at the near post gets no way near it. Odesanya. And again from Odesanya. And Luque tries to clear. Booty leaves his foot in on Castiglione. Luque tries to get past AJ and doesn't. AJ has the ball. Luque trying to challenge him, not trying to bring him down. Ella Kobe brings down Ajay. Hadler gets the save in. And it's a corner kick. But I tell you what, Ella Kobe's got to get out of jail free card there yeah. with the challenge on AJ. AJ's gone over him and a shot's come in from someone else. And Hadler's got that wide for a corner. Gallagher takes the throw to Deacon in the area. He's got Gallagher for support with him. He gets that ball across, it's cleared away, only to the edge of the box. Hoyt heads it back into that box. Luke, and it breaks for Patterson, Ooh. is he fouled there? He's no. not, according to the referee. But there was certainly a Patterson sandwich going on there, and the referee... ...releases it to Hoyt into space. As we approach 75 minutes, gone, it's... Uh it's a ball over the top to Patterson, and he's in the clear here. He's got to get his shot away, but he's got Kopekwa on his shoulder. 
Luke cuts inside. Deacon takes a touch. He's on the corner of the six-yard box. Ball out to Booty. It's the flag. Oh! Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Regan Booty. 3-2 Maidstone. I've been waiting for it to score all <laughs> blooming day. And that absolute rubbish. We lose our loser, baby. We gain shake, shake, shake your booty. 3-2 Maidstone. And the pressing has been getting Maidstone there, Nigel, and it's been coming. It has been but coming, But how yeah. fortuitous were the 3,000 deflections on the way in? Yep. Yeah. I'm sure the, the Bowser and Austin proud down in that Genko end don't care. Earlier in the first half, and now Alfie Karuli is coming off. I wouldn't say that's tactical, that change, Nigel, with Karuli coming on for Kai Marsh-Brown, but Kai Marsh-Brown is already on a yellow card, so yeah. that's going to be the reason why. We'll talk about that more in a moment, but IJ... I say AJ takes a shot, but I think if we called that shot, I think we might be done under the trade descriptions. Oh, yeah. Still can't believe that goal was only five minutes ago. It feels like so much has happened in that yeah. space of time. Good flick through by Marsh Brown. Corrilli's onto it. Gets a curling shot in, oh. and Hadler tips the ball around the post. Good save there by Hadler. And he's kept that out of the goal. Dobson finds himself stood over the ball at the corner, swings it in into the six-yard area. AJ goes for the header, so it's not AJ that's been subbed. I will find out who's come off. Maidstone trying to break, and Deacon comes away with it. And he's got to Sean Walters ahead of him, and he can't get there. Right, it's Bertram Cooper that's come off. I know I've told you three other people have come <laughs> off, but Bertram Cooper has definitely come off. And Patterson is making an approach towards goal! Ooh! And Patterson has sealed the win for Maidstone United. 82 minutes on the clock. And Maidstone should, should be clear at the top here. And an electric atmosphere, an electric goal. And Maidstone are now 4-2 up. Who cares who's come off for Hemel Hempstead? We know who's come on for Maidstone, and we know who's scored, and it's Christy Patterson. Mere seconds left as Johnson checks his watch as Maidstone head it clear to Sean there Walters. Goes the lamps it down the pitch as Dobson chucks his tape down in disgust. So many Maidstone players there completing a fantastic, a fantastic 90 minutes for Maidstone United and such an eventful game